Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office and welcome to another great episode of On The Go with BCSO. Of course, I'm joined by my main man, Corporal Jay Martinez. Jay, how you doing today, buddy? Oh, not too bad. Feeling good? All right, excellent. So if you've um, ever listened to any of our podcasts or watched our podcasts, you know that we talk about all different things from inside the agency. Um, gives us a chance to talk about all the amazing work the members of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office do. Um, and we also talk about uh, safety issues, crime trends, and uh, things that are relevant to our community. So today we're going to talk about something that uh, is constantly on everybody's mind, and that is golf cart safety. We um, have a number of golf cart communities within Brevard County, and uh, golf carts are a great means of transportation. But if they're not, uh, like anything else, if they're not done right, they can, uh, can be a problem and be unsafe. So I got with me um, what I believe is our expert out of the sheriff's office, uh, Corporal Ty Freeman. And Ty, how you doing, my brother? Doing good? Morning, good? All right, my brother. Good. So good say hi to Jay, man, because Jay's uh What's up, man? No, me and Ty worked together for, for <laughs> oh, yeah. quite some time when we, we first started. Back. So we were zone partners for a while. So, so, so the word work yeah. probably shouldn't be used. Right, this, right, right. Thing. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. All right. so Ty, um, I know you've uh, kind of become um, uh, very involved in golf cart safety and we're a member of our motor unit for a long time, and um, uh, just uh, I, we see it all the time. Kids out there with these souped-up golf carts, and um, everybody parking them at the schools and everything else. So let's talk a little bit about what some of the, the biggest problems you see out there, and, and then we'll kind of dive in and talk about the the rules and the the um, laws related to certain communities here in Brevard County. So what's the biggest problem we face out there? The biggest problem we we see, sheriff, is people just not being safe. Uh, they treat golf carts um, in a manner that they think they're they're not dangerous, and they are. They can hurt people, and people just remember they need to be safe. They need to watch their speed, uh, be courteous, and yield the right away to pedestrians, and bicyclists, and other people using the uh, the pathways, and not be in such a hurry. All right. So let's talk about um, what's by law. What's the the legal age that somebody can operate a golf cart? The legal age is 14 years of age. Anyone under that's not allowed. So even even if mom or dad's riding with them, they're still not allowed to, to operate. Correct. They have to be fourteen to be operating it. Okay. And uh, when uh, when we see some of these different golf carts, I think everybody when it kind of started, you know, with the golf cart craze, if you will, everybody had the old golf cart that had, that um, had been surplus from the the golf course, and and uh, you had to charge the batteries up. But that's no longer the case now. Some of these golf carts they fly, man. They do. Uh, per state statute, golf carts are only allowed to go supposed to go 15 miles an hour. However, uh, there are ones out there now that go much faster. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen them. So. Yeah. And, uh, so at 14 years old, you don't need any kind of permit or any kind of special training class. I can buy my 14-year-old golf cart that goes faster than 15, give it to them for, let's say, a birthday, special occasion, or call it the family golf cart, and they can just take off and, and ride with no problem. Again, technically that golf cart's only supposed to be able to go 15 miles an hour. Yeah. But that's true. There is no special permit or anything for a 14-year-old to be able to operate it. Yeah. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about Suntree because uh, I, th I think probably um, the two areas that, that I hear the most from our citizens about is um, Suntree and Vieira, and then right off the heels of that is Barefoot Bay. Um, we get a lot of concerns out of Barefoot Bay about golf cart traffic and stuff. So let's, let's talk about Suntree first. Um, the, the residents of Suntree obviously... Um, Suntree's uh, built and populated around a golf course and everything else, but talk to me a little bit about what the rules are right there in Suntree. One of the biggest concerns we have with Suntree is the fact that people will utilize the sidewalks to travel with their golf carts in, in the Suntree planned unit development or, or PUD, and the infrastructure can't support that. They're actually not supposed to be on the sidewalks. Uh, in Suntree, the golf carts are supposed to be actually on the roadways. They're allowed on roadways where the speed limit is 30 miles an hour and under. Um, there are designated roadways they are not allowed on. For example, Wickham Road cuts through Suntree, uh, but it would be exempt because the speed limit is over 30 miles an hour. So in Suntree, that's a, a, one of the more established neighborhoods we're talking about. The sidewalks there aren't wide enough to accommodate the golf carts. Um, by, by statute, the golf... The Sidewalk has to be at least um, eight, feet, eight wide. feet wide. Okay, yes, sir. And we have a lot of sidewalks in Suntree that are five feet wide. So in the Suntree area, it's completely different than say Vieira East or Vieira West. In Suntree, the golf carts need to be on the roadway and leave the sidewalks to the pedestrians. All right. So I know um, uh, we talk uh, sometimes. Uh, I think the term you use is um, multi-use lanes um, from that. So talk a little bit about that. The multi-use trail 
is a pathway that is can be found in Vieira East and Vieira West. Um, they're 10 feet wide. So it looks like a sidewalk. It's just double the size of a normal sidewalk. And that's technically called a multi-use trail. On that multi-use trail, it accommodates pedestrian, bicycle, and golf cart traffic. Uh, the golf cart has to yield to everyone else. So the, also on the multi-use trail, they need to watch their speed. So on the 30 mile an hour roadway, golf carts will tend to go a little faster. Once they get on those multi-use trails, they need to slow down and take it easy when you're passing walkers or, or dog walkers or bicyclists to, to yield them plenty of room right away. If it's not a 10 foot wide pathway, technically the golf carts aren't supposed to be on it. Okay. Now I know in Sun Tree there's, there's one road, and I, I can't think the name of it off the top of my head, but um, by, the, um, uh, by the design, there's one road there that they, um, they can get up on the, the uh, sidewalk on. Well, it's the, the edge of the roadway there. Well, what you're referring to is uh, North Pinehurst. North, North Pinehurst. Yep. North, North Pinehurst between Spyglass Hill and Wickham Road, there's a large shoulder, so to speak, that's considered actually signed as a multi-use trail. I was going to say it designates it as, as Yes, they have, they have signs that say multi-use trail. So that's where the golf carts are allowed to drive. There also are other areas in Sun Tree where it's actually posted golf cart sharing roadway. Um, another point we need to talk about Sun Tree is that the commuter traffic and vehicles, regular cars and trucks, need to be mindful of the golf carts because they don't go as fast, but they are allowed on the roadway. So they need to make sure they don't, uh, they give them plenty of room and, and don't try to run them over because they're allowed to be there. So with the, with the golf cart on the roadway, um, is there any kind of extra modification, lights, seat belts, um, extra things that, that you would have to add to the golf cart for, for it to be, let's say, quote unquote, street legal? Or can you use any golf cart on that particular roadway? The big one is that the golf cart needs to have uh, a rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. so they can see behind them. It needs to have red reflective devices front and rear. If, uh, if it's being operated by a 14-year-old or an unlicensed driver, it's mandatory that it has a horn. Um, some of the other differences, a lot of them now are coming with seat belts, which is a good idea. Um, the other difference is if it's going to be operated at night, it has to have blinkers, headlights, a windshield, turn signals. Mm -hmm. So they're almost just like a car. They have yeah. a lot of the same equipment. Yeah. Um, just a regular old golf cart off the golf course that has no headlights, no brake lights, no mirrors, uh, anything like that, technically doesn't have the proper equipment to be operated on the roadway. Mm -hmm. So the one you stole off the golf cart. Of course, right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. not going to work. Yeah, 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 you can't, can't take that back. Yeah, take that back. Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it, I, I know um, you, you mentioned earlier about um, uh, vehicles on the roadway in addition to the golf carts. I think that's one of the, the biggest things that uh, everybody's got to keep in mind. You know, whether whether you're sharing the roadway with a golf cart or a, a bicycle or or someone that's that's out, you know, running and stuff, crossing intersections and everything else, um, everybody has a responsibility to be safe. Everybody has a responsibility to look out for the other one. And sometimes we get so caught up in, um, you know, the, the different things going on in our lives or trying to hurry to a meeting or something else like that. And, uh, and we forget that um, safety is, is the first part. So um, just, just out of curiosity, um, uh, Florida's new texting law that went into effect, um, anything, does it relate to golf carts? I would. If those golf carts are being operated in the roadway, it absolutely can. Um, there's also a caveat uh, called a low-speed vehicle. Uh, some people have actually gone an extra step to put a license plate on their golf cart. It has a DOT windshield, a windshield wiper. Those vehicles, you have to have insurance. It has to be a licensed driver, um, and if it's got a license plate. So if that's on the roadway, it's, that's considered a, a regular vehicle. Regular vehicle. So yeah. Same thing goes. They would not be able to uh, text and drive. Anything else in the Suntry area that we, we need to think? Because, again, we get a lot of calls and just people asking, what are the rules um, there? So is Suntry, anything else in, in the Suntry area before we move to Vieira? The big thing with Suntry is to, to know – that they have to be 14 years of age. That, that goes for anywhere, but we do see that problem uh, issue in Sun Tree as well. And they need to stay off the five foot wide sidewalks mm -hmm. and use the roadways that are 30 miles an hour and under for the operation of the golf carts. Um, and again, to just reiterate that the, the motoring traffic needs to give those golf carts on the roadway a little room and, and make sure we're being safe. So in Sun Tree, they're, if they're up on the sidewalk, they're, they're breaking the law in Sun Tree. That's correct, Sheriff. Okay. Which is a little bit the opposite of, of Vieira East and Vieira West uh, unless it's a residential street in, in, the, 
the residential areas that's 30 miles an hour under, those golf carts need to be on the multi-use trail, which again is that 10 foot wide. It uh, looks like a sidewalk, but it's 10 feet wide. All right, you know? so let's start there. We're, we're now in Vieira, we're up on the multi-use trail. Um, and again, it's shared by bicyclists and golf carts and any, um, I would assume the golf cart has to give the right of way to pedestrians and that's correct, Sheriff. The, the golf cart has to yield right away to everyone. So if it's someone walking, someone walking a dog, a bicyclist, uh, the golf cart has to yield to them. And, and by yielding, obviously, uh, they need to give them plenty of room and also reduce your speed. No one that's out there walking their dog wants to get passed by a golf cart at a high rate of speed. So just make sure if you're passing uh, someone else using that multi-use trail that they're courteous and safe and reduce their speed and give them plenty of room. Yeah. I, I, I know a lot of people probably don't realize it, but we've had some pretty serious accidents where, where kids have been hurt pretty oh, yeah. bad. Um, there yeah. have been, Sheriff, and uh, one of the other things with the golf carts in, in those areas, uh, they're, they're allowed to cross major roadways using the, the crosswalks. But again, it's the old adage, look both ways before you cross the street. Same thing goes if you're operating a golf cart. It's your responsibility to make sure that it's safe to cross. Even though you may have the right of way, it's still a good idea to pay attention to the vehicle traffic and, and not put yourself in a dangerous situation. Yeah. So again, even in Vieira, because I see some parents in Vieira letting their kids that aren't 14, doesn't matter where you are in the state of Florida, you have to be 14. That's correct. Whether mom sure. and dad's in the car with you or not. That's a state. Or in the, in the golf cart with you or not. And two, the parents as well, I mean, they, they have to share the responsibility of educating their kids and letting them know, hey, you know, what you're doing is is can be, you know, a, a, a dangerous thing. Uh, there's an intersection there with the, with the big circle, you know, the tree, and you see some of the shrubbery around that, and um, I've gone through that circle and have seen almost not seen golf carts because of how the shrubbery works there. So if you're not really careful approaching that circle um, on both ends, as a driver and as a golf cart operator, um, that can be a, a hot spot there. So letting the kids know that, uh, that they just can't automatically cross without using some caution um, is, is, is very important. A message that we'll share and that we encourage our parents to share as well. Uh, but going back to, to the Sun Tree versus Vieira, let's say I, I am at uh, Sun Tree, right? And I want to get to Vieira. So I either want to go A, under... Uh, 95 on Wickham or B, uh, use the new crossover on Vieira Boulevard to get from uh, to Vieira, from, from Sun Tree to Vieira. Um, can I do that legally? At this time, not legally. Okay. There's a specific state uh, county ordinance that prohibits golf carts to go over I-95 on Vieira Boulevard, uh, the diverging diamond interchange. Um, that is not legal, and uh, people that do that that are uh, spotted by law enforcement uh, will be cited. The other issue is going along Wickham Road and going under I-95. The problem with that is the the sidewalks alongside of Wickham Road in that area on the on the east side, again, do not meet the state requirement for golf cart use. They're only six feet wide, and they need to be eight feet wide in order for a golf cart to legally be operated there. So as of right now, there's no legal way to get from east to west uh, is in reference to I-95. So until things change in the future, um, you know, there's people have to use other modes of transportation uh, to, to cross that corridor. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why you'd want to go there. Chick fil A's right there. Why would you want well, to what if I want to get, you know, like a Chick fil A Walmart session in? You know what I mean? So if I, I go to Chick fil A, but I got to get milk and bread. So I go over to Walmart and then try to get back uh, without getting spotted. But that's, that's hard to do because these guys are always out there. Yeah, if you get spotted, you're, yeah, you're probably you, going to catch put way too much thought into it. So, <laughs> uh, remind me when we're not on the podcast to talk to you because <laughs> you need some evaluation. So, all right. So, um, Sun Tree, we talked about being on the road. Vieira, if one of our teams sees you out there on the road with the golf cart, what's gonna, what transpires? Well, it, it, they're only allowed in the on the roads in the Vieira area. Like I said, if it's a residential street and it's thirty miles an hour under, if you're on one of those non-designated roadways, for example, Tavistock is a good example. Uh, the speed limit on Tavistock is thirty-five, and golf carts are not allowed on the roadway. Again, there's a multi-use path along the side of Tavistock they should be utilizing. But if they're in the roadway, one of our team catches them, they're going to be stopped. Okay. And uh, that can go one of two ways. It can be educational or, you know, they can be ticketed. Yeah, and I, I think the, the point there is, you know, we, we always try and, and just, uh, you know, as you said, provide some education uh, about the, the safety procedures and stuff. But when you, when you catch the same people, the same offenders over mm -hmm. and over again, at some point you have to, you know, take some action there. And, and again, Jay, I think you hit right on the point. Um, a lot of this comes down to parents not only need to educate their, their kids on the safety you know, uh, rules and regulations and laws of golf carts, but 
um, they need to, they need to monitor them too. They need to yeah. watch what what they're doing and make sure that they're not fourteen. They're not sitting behind the the wheel of it. And um, like you said, some of them are now you know coming with seat belts and everything else and all the safety features. The more safety features that are on it, the better off. Yeah, um, that brings up one more point, Sheriff. Uh, a lot of the golf carts are configured in either a four seat configuration or six seater golf carts. We're seeing now. We need to make sure that if you're operating a golf cart that's a four seat golf cart. You only have four bodies on that golf cart. Even though 14-year-olds uh, might be small, they don't take up a lot of room, they try to put five or six on a four-seat golf cart, and that's not allowed. So, I got I don't want you to have to say it. I'll do, I'll do. So, like, Dave's got seven kids. So, he, he got to have two golf carts? He's going to have to have two golf carts. Under, under no circum, no lap sitting, none of that? No, none of that. It's Can't do allowed. that. Can't let the baby steer... Nope. Uh, okay. Nope. Yeah. We, we, we've seen issues with uh, with teenagers. You may want to look at a shuttle bus. No something. hanging off the back. No skateboards. No, they'll, they'll stand on the back. Uh, yeah, that's not what allowed. What about what about having a uh, like Junie in one of the seats? Well, Junie can ride wherever he wants. So. <laughs> he, he pretty much does. He's a special so. individual, so I'm sure he has his own seat. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about Barefoot Bay real quick. In the time we have left, um, we we get a lot of complaints about golf cart traffic and stuff in Barefoot Bay. What's allowed in Barefoot Bay? Again, uh, there's uh, literature down there that, to explain to people that move to the area where they're allowed on the roadways. And uh, the issues down there are the same issues we have other places. They've got to be 14 years of age. You can't put too many bodies on a golf cart if it's specified four seats. only needs to have four people on it. Uh, and just be courteous and not uh, you know, try to run people over that are walking their dogs or bicycling. You have to yield to those. In those instances, the golf cart has to yield to everyone else. Okay. And so Barefoot Bay is not really a golf cart design community, the infrastructure for it and everything. So, Infrastructure-wise, it's, it's not, but they have uh, the, the wide shoulder uh, that's marked. It's, it's used as a, as a bicycle path, and, and a lot of the golf, cart, golf carts utilize that as well, uh, which isn't a problem, as, as, again, as long as they're courteous and yield right away. Right. Yeah, I think the big thing for us, and, and, and if nothing else, the takeaway from this is, um, you know, just, just be courteous and, and yeah. be safe. I mean, yeah. the, these things are, I mean, I see some of them today and they cost more than my house. Yeah. I mean, these, these things are souped. I think you got one that's at, uh, what is yours <laughs> run about 85, 90 miles an hour? <laughs> oh, no, sir. <laughs> no, it, got the it's, doors it, that go up on the side. It's like man. nothing over 15. <laughs> it's got the flux capacitor in the back of it. So, um, so Ty, in a little bit of time we have left, let's talk about, um, uh, your time here at the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. How long have you been here? I've been here about uh, 17 years. 17 years. What all have you done since you've been here? Well, I worked South Precinct for several years. Uh, worked the beachside uh, midnight shift. That's where Jay and I worked together. We used to run and gun down there. Um, I got picked up by the, the traffic unit, uh, the motor motor unit, and was uh, on motors doing traffic for a little over 12 years. Yeah. And just recently got reassigned to the career development unit as a full-time trainer. And you're out at the out at the range now. Out at the range doing firearms training, yes, sir. Yeah. So that's a little bit different getting on that motorcycle every day. and It's completely different. Yeah. So what was that? I mean, I, I get the honor of riding with you guys every now and then with the motor unit. Um, not as much as I'd like to, but what's that like every day out there? At the range? No, at the, on the motors. Oh, it's uh, it's always different. Um, and we really enjoy when you come out and ride with us because when we when we pull people over and you're there, it, it, they, they calm down. <laughs> it makes a difference, huh? <laughs> they, yeah. you're, they like uh, talking to the celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> they're happy to get a ticket. They're surprised I'm on a bike. So <laughs> <laughs> they probably think I'm in a sidecar. So, so. They enjoy seeing you out there, and we like riding with you and having you out there with us. Um, but there's always uh, plenty of uh, traffic enforcement in Bavard County. It's a big area, so we always have lots to do, a lot of different areas to move around and, and – deal with the, the citizens' complaints as for uh, concerns traffic. All right, cool. So, well, just real quick before we close out, touch real quick on the uh, the safety equipment, the mandated equipment that's supposed to be on the golf carts. Okay, golf carts need to have the red reflective devices front and rear. Um, they need to have a rear view mirror, uh, windshield. Um, ideally, most of the ones that if you buy a golf cart nowadays, it's going to come with the brake lights, uh, tail lights, headlights, blinkers. Uh, and hopefully seat belts. And of course, at night it's got to have that windshield. And the important thing is, if it's a 14-year-old unlicensed driver, it needs to have a horn, so they have the ability to to signal warnings to to uh, other motorists if need be. Okay. And uh, the big thing is just the the placement in Sun Tree. 
Um, they're not supposed to be on that five foot wide sidewalk. That's for pedestrian traffic only. They need to be in, in those roadways that are 30 miles an hour and under. Likewise on the Vieira side, uh, the multi-use trail is there f exactly for that purpose, for the golf carts to utilize. So, uh -huh. Well, Jay, I appreciate it, man. You're always yeah. great to have uh, yeah. on here. And Ty, we, uh, we not only appreciate uh, you being on the show, but just everything you do for our agency and out there training our team now, the, the tactics they need to, to uh, be out protecting our community and stuff. So we appreciate you being here. And as always, we appreciate the incredible support of our community. We are truly blessed to have an amazing community here in Brevard County that, that uh, loves us, trusts us, and protects us just as much as we love, trust, and protect you. So we'll see you next time on On The Go with BCSO.